Hey allihopa! Hi everyone! Reginilla here! First off, I want to thank all of my new subscribers who found me through the China Show. I am humbled! Thank you so much! I really hope you'll enjoy my channel as well. Okay, let's start! In our hyper-connected world, misinformation spreads like wildfire. One major example, the paranoia around 5G technology. Conspiracy theories claim that 5G causes cancer, neurological disorders and even mind control, despite overwhelming scientific evidence proving its safety. Ironically, some anti-5G products sold to combat these fears are genuinely harmful, emitting dangerous levels of radioactive radiation. Let's break down how 5G radiation works, why it's safe and how it compares to truly harmful ionizing radioactive radiation. What is 5G radiation? 5G uses non-ionizing electromagnetic radiation in the radio frequency RF spectrum, the same type of energy used in Wi-Fi, TVs and cell phones. Non-ionizing radiation doesn't have enough energy to damage DNA or cells. It can only produce mild heating effects at extremely high intensities. To ensure safety, international regulatory bodies like the World Health Organization and the International Commission for Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection have set strict exposure limits for all RF radiation. These limits include a 50-fold safety margin, meaning the permitted levels are 50 times lower than what might actually cause harm. 5G towers emit less than 1 watt per square meter, often closer to 0.01 watt per square meter in real-world conditions. This is a thousand times lower than harmful levels with the exposure limit set at 10 watts per square meter for public safety. Phone radiation is measured using the specific absorption rate, which indicates how much RF energy your body absorbs from the device. This is measured in watts per kilogram. The maximum allowable specific absorption rate for cell phones in the US is 1.6 watts per kilogram. Most modern smartphones emit far less radiation than the limit typically between 0.1 watts per kilogram and 1.2 watts per kilogram, even during heavy use like streaming video or making calls. This means that 5G radiation levels are nowhere near harmful, even with regular or heavy usage, whether from towers or phones. Types of ionizing radiation and their dangers Ionizing radiation, on the other hand, is way different and extremely dangerous because it has enough energy to directly damage the molecules in your body, including your DNA. Unlike non-ionizing radiation like 5G, Wi-Fi or cell phones, ionizing radiation can cause both immediate and long-term harm, even at relatively low levels, and here is how. Ionizing radiation is a type of high-energy radiation that can remove electrons from atoms, creating charged particles called ions. Ionizing radiation has a lot of energy, much more than the low-energy radiation from radio waves, cell phones and microwaves. These types of low-energy radiation are called non-ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation has potential for interacting with and changing atoms and molecules. This is an important distinction which many people may not realize. Ions are chemically reactive, which can lead to damage when they interact with biological molecules. There are different types of these particles called X-rays, gamma rays, alpha particles, beta particles and neutrons. I'll briefly go over each what they are and what harm they cause. X-rays and gamma rays are high-energy electromagnetic waves capable of penetrating deeply into tissues and even through the body. Sources of X-rays include medical imaging equipment like CT scans and dental X-ray machines. Gamma rays are produced by radioactive decay and nuclear explosions. These waves can damage internal organs and tissues and exposure to high doses or repeated exposure to lower ones can lead to blood cancer, thyroid cancer and breast, lung and skin cancers. 
They are also known to cause cardiovascular damage that could lead to strokes, reproductive health damage leading to infertility, neurological damage increasing risk of neurodegenerative diseases, and skin damage, bone marrow suppression, gastrointestinal damage, and acute radiation syndrome, and more. They're really bad. Alpha particles are heavy, positively charged particles consisting of two protons and two neutrons. They can be found in radon gas, as well as radioactive materials like uranium, plutonium or polonium. Alpha particles are not very penetrating and can be stopped by a sheet of paper or even your skin. But a lot of particles still make it through and it doesn't need to make it through your skin to cause harm. However, if inhaled or ingested, they can cause significant damage by bombarding nearby tissue with high-energy particles. Beta particles can be found in radioactive isotopes strontium-90 and tritium, and can penetrate deeper than alpha particles but are still stopped by a layer of clothing or aluminum foil. If they enter the body, they can damage tissue and organs by ionizing molecules along their path. Finally, neutrons are particles released during nuclear reactions such as fission or fusion. Sources are nuclear reactors and nuclear bombs. Neutrons can reach deep tissues, causing widespread ionization and are particularly harmful because they have the power to make surrounding materials radioactive, creating secondary radiation hazards. This is the radiation most frequently associated with acute radiation sickness and all the horrific health effects associated with nuclear catastrophes. The myriad of 5G conspiracies while 5G is scientifically proven to be safe, paranoia around it has been fueled by a handful of vocal figures and groups. These individuals and organizations have spread baseless claims profiting off of fear and misinformation. David Icke is a British conspiracy theorist with a history of promoting outrageous ideas, including that the world is controlled by a reptilian elite. He argues that 5G networks are part of a sinister plan for mind control and population surveillance. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he further claimed that 5G was responsible for spreading the virus, a biologically impossible assertion. Viruses spread through biological transmission, not radio waves. Another example is Dr. Martin Paul, a retired biochemist who gained attention for his claims about the dangers of electromagnetic fields or EMFs. Paul claims that 5G radiation can damage DNA, lead to cancer, infertility and neurological disorders much like ionized radiation. He often cited a phenomenon called voltage-gated calcium channel activation as the mechanism. You know, there's been this issue of how these low intensity EMS work. And of course, as you heard, industry is claiming that it can't possibly work. And, uh, and, and I sort of stumbled on this mechanism about uh, three, three and a half years ago, that it works by uh, activating uh, things called voltage gated calcium channels. And so that's basically what my uh, talk is gonna be focused on. These channels do exist and are activated by changes in electrical voltage across the membrane, playing critical roles in processes like muscle contraction, nerve signaling and hormone secretion. The thing is, they only respond to biological signals like nerve impulses, not weak external radio frequency fields. Even high-powered RF radiation, well above 5G levels, have no measurable effect. In fact, the only well-documented effect of RF radiation at high intensities is thermal heating. For example, microwaves use RF to heat food by vibrating water molecules. 5G radiation levels are thousands of times weaker than what's required to cause any measurable heating, let alone affect cellular mechanisms. Regulatory bodies have consistently found no credible evidence to support Paul's claims. Other popular 5G conspiracy theories include the activist group Stop 5G International's ideas about 5G killing bees and destroying the planet. The self-proclaimed weapons expert Mark Steele's claims that 5G towers are military-grade weapons capable of widespread destruction and, of course, the main topic of this video, the 5G protection gear madness. The irony of anti-5G products. 
In a twist of tragic irony, products marketed to protect consumers from the unfounded dangers of 5G radiation have been found to emit actually harmful ionizing radiation themselves. This means that these so-called anti-5G accessories not only fail to shield users from non-existent threats, but also expose them to genuine health hazards. In December of 2021, the Dutch Authority for Nuclear Safety and Radiation Protection issued warnings about several anti-5G products found to be radioactive. These items included Quantum pendants, marketed as protective necklaces against electromagnetic radiation. These, of course, became popular among those fearing the effects of 5G technology. However, investigations revealed that these pendants continuously emit ionizing radiation, posing genuine health risks far greater than any imagined dangers of 5G. It turns out that it and products like it are dangerous and radioactive. Let me show you. This is a Geiger counter and it clicks every time it detects a particle of radiation. When I place it near the pendant, to make this really clear, I'm going to make the radiation visible by putting the pendant into a device called a cloud chamber. When the pendant is placed inside, trails immediately start coming off it. Here's a time lapse, and you can see that it is constantly spewing particles. Quantum pendants are often manufactured using negative ion technology, which is falsely claimed to block electromagnetic fields or EMFs. To, in theory, achieve this effect, manufacturers incorporate radioactive materials into the pendants. These radioactive materials include thorium, uranium, and rare earth materials that release radiation as they undergo radioactive decay. Alpha, beta, and gamma particles can all be released from this process, and the pendants continuously emit these types of radiation due to the radioactive materials embedded in them for protection. Dutch Authority for Nuclear Safety and Radiation Protection tests reveal that wearing these pendants can continuously expose a person to several millisieverts per year, exceeding the safety limits for skin exposure. If a quantum pendant exposes you to just 1 to 2 millisieverts per year, it could still double your annual radiation exposure, which will increase long-term health risks. Energy Armor Accessories Items such as sleeping masks, bracelets, and necklaces under this brand, marketed as sources of negative ions, were also identified as sources of radiation. Again, potentially exposing wearers to several millisieverts per year, if worn continuously as intended. Children's versions of these products, like bracelets marketed to kids, are especially concerning due to their smaller body mass, which makes them more vulnerable to radiation effects. Magnetics Wellness Bracelet, specifically for children, is a perfect example of exactly this. All of these radioactive accessories were found available for purchase on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress and other big and popular online marketplaces. Most of the dangerous items exposed were of course tied to China's manufacturing sector, where loose regulations and minimal oversight enabled the creation and export of various hazardous items. I was wondering, does Temu also sell radioactive products like eBay does? And I went on looking for scalar quantum pendants and I found one. Quantum pendant, scalar energy ion necklace, energy ions, jewelry, lava stone charm pendants, men, women, anti-radiation protection. I wish they wouldn't say anti-radiation. It is radioactive as you're about to see. And it comes with a leaflet that says, uh, well, lots of stuff in Chinese and Energize your body. Products claiming to emit negative ions are typically not classified as medical or hazardous devices, meaning they have an easier time bypassing scrutiny. While China does regulate highly radioactive materials like nuclear fuel, smaller amounts of naturally radioactive elements like thorium, uranium, and radium can be found in industrial byproducts and aren't closely monitored when used in consumer goods. Several months ago, my friend Emil Grafstra that runs a company called Dangerous Things tipped me off to this and sent me some samples of bracelets that he had a company in China make. So if you see his logo on any of these, know that he got these as samples explicitly so he could test for this. It's not something that he sells. 
He'd measured the bracelets with a Geiger counter, and sure enough, it started beeping like crazy as the radiation from the bracelets hit the detector. China's manufacturing industry thrives on fulfilling global demand, which definitely includes trendy, fear-driven products, with conspiracy theory frightened people from Europe, North America, and Australia, and Africa, and everywhere driving sales. So, let's recap. 5G radiation is scientifically proven to be safe, with no credible evidence linking it to health risks of any kind. Meanwhile, the same people profiting off of fear are selling dangerous radioactive protection products. Well, here is the truth. 5G isn't going to fry your brain, control your mind or spread a virus. But wearing some radioactive pendant sold by some shady vendor over the internet, that might actually kill you. Before you buy into fear-based marketing, do some research, please. The real danger here isn't 5G, it's the grifters peddling junk science and hazardous products. Stay skeptical and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. See ya!